Eric Moad with Moad.com. Let's take a look at the same stock and it is WTB from the London Stock Exchange. And here we're going to take a look at these two values, 70 on the RSI and 30. Now you'll find that most charts, the default setting, you find that the, in the extreme measure they put 70 and in the extreme measure on the way down they put 30. Now I'm here to tell you, okay that's close enough but the actual number is 69.1 and the actual number is not 30. I'm here to tell you the actual number is 30.9. Check the description for where these two numbers come from. I have a link, a couple of videos explaining where I got those two numbers and the reasoning behind it. Now one major misconception you'll find in many textbooks and online resources is that you should sell stocks that are trading above 70 but in fact we know it is 69.1 so most resources most books are going to tell you to sell stocks that are trading above 70 that's wrong the same books also tell you to buy stocks that are trading below 30 or 30.9 in our case since we know the exact number that is equally wrong here we can see a perfect example of why those two things are wrong in this concept that sell stocks that are trading above 70 on their RSI keep in mind we are saying that eh, not 70 the number is 69.1 I'm here to tell you in fact when stocks move above 69.1 you should be buying that's right all right let's test this simple chart same chart we've been looking at the last couple of videos was the stock bullish th during this time period here yes of course you can see a nice upward trend the next time the stock has an explosive move is this period here that so happens to be a period where it moved above 69.1 at the price of about let me see what I can get somewhere here let's say in the thousand price range and stayed above 69.1 until so it moves back below 69.1 somewhere here in the 17 to 16 to 1500 <laughs> so clearly instead of selling right there you should have been pounding the table buying and this proves that I am right those textbooks I are absolutely wrong I'm not sure what the authors were looking at when they came up with those conclusions but oh well again let's take a look at another example this is the biggest explosive run in this stock it so happened conveniently to be in an area where most textbooks sell, tell you to sell. <laughs> All right, I just that makes no sense to me. But anyway, so the stock moved above 69.1 in the middle of 2012. Let's call that a price of about 17, 1750, 1700 thereabouts. All right, it stayed above that from 2012 to 2015 for the most part other than this tiny blip which gave you another reason to re-enter as the stock moved back above the magic number so we can say from for about close to three years the stock was trading above 69.1 if you go by what I'm saying here you would have had a chance to own the stock during that explosive phase rather than selling and by the way the stock finally moves back below 69.1 here at a price of about let's call it in the lower or let's call it about 4800 4700 so from <laughs> so from 1700 to 4700 the stock was explosive of course we know this why because unlike what the textbooks want us to believe we know that stocks holding above 69.1 are powerful all right so 
So, if you are serious about making money in the stock market, and I know you are, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video, you need to understand these two numbers, 69.1, and why you should be looking to buy and hold while an instrument is trading above this price range. And at the same time, you need to understand where this number comes from and what you should do when stocks are trading around this critical number. Please check the description for more into this for video links that can help you understand what I'm talking about. Eric Moather with Moather.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E A C S. Mwah. Now, this one is a little bit different, but give you what I'm saying. Now, this one is a little bit different, I see what I'm saying. Now, this one is a little bit different, but I see what I'm saying. But this one is a little bit different, I see what I'm saying. It's a little bit different. Tell him. Tell him.